Welcome to the Greyhound News Network. This is Pope TV. And please stand for the Pledge of the Flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. And now for a moment of silence. Good morning, Pope High School. Welcome to the Greyhound News Network. I'm Ryan Webb. And I'm Jake Fralgo. This is Pope TV. The Transition Academy students are opening their coffee shop on Wednesday. It will be located in the Transition Academy kitchen on the 400 Hall. This coffee shop will be open every Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Looking forward to some coffee in the morning. Do you enjoy watching different types of movies and discussing them with your peers? Yeah. Then come to Film Club every other Wednesday in room 309 during x -Block. We interrupt our program to bring you this important message. Come out and support your faculty at the Last of Rivers Pope Faculty Volleyball Game. There will be a raffle held with various East Cobb vendors and a halftime show filled with loads of entertainment. All profits will be donated to Relay for Life. This game will take place Monday, March 27th at Laster at 7 o'clock. Tickets will be $5. Let's hear that stack team, Ryan. What do we got? Mr. Burnett, Coach Fitch, Mr. Gatanis, Coach G, Coach Johnson, Coach Pfaff, Coach Darling, Coach Hopper, Miss Kelly, Coach McCoola, Miss Pierce, and Miss Shearstone. Don't miss it. Woo! Now to the PSPN Boys of Sports. Let's get it, boys. Prince Ali! We're the PSPN boys with the sports. Congratulations to the baseball team on their 8-2 win over Alpha Red on Monday. The Hounds put up eight runs. Jerry Miller had four hits to lead the offense, and Chase Smith and Andrew Hurlitz provided excellent pitching. Chase now has four wins on the season. On Wednesday, Ryan Webb held Johns Creek scoreless through five innings, and the Hounds scored six in the sixth to get a 6-3 win. On Friday, the Hounds dominated North Atlanta. The Hounds won 13-4 by the pitching of Max Brago and Harris East. Parker Orr, a.k.a. Big V, was 2-for-2 two two with 3 RBIs, and Jerry Miller was 2-for-3 with 3 RBIs. The baseball team is in first place in the region and 13-1 and on the season. They play Northview tomorrow night, and this weekend they're at Lake Point for a doubleheader. Good luck, men. Sweep the week. The boys' right. lacrosse team plays tonight at 7.55 here at Pope against Roswell. Come up to the stadium and support the guys. Good luck to the girls' lacrosse team at North Paulding tomorrow night. Congrats to the boys' soccer team on their 2-0 win over North Atlanta on Friday night. John Luttrell and Taylor Ga James scored the Greyhound goals. And congrats to the girls' soccer team on their 2-1 win over North Atlanta as well. Of course, Lauren Wilson scored a goal and Caroline Tolley scored the other goal. Gilbert Brown was once and again an animal on defense. And the teams played Centennial tonight, girls at 6 and boys at 8. And John, um, you've been making some soccer games. What are you seeing? Um... Not only are they hustling uh, and getting back on defense, but it seems like there's a they're at a higher level than every other team. They play mentally, physically. Um, they want it more. Uh, we've seen it with prior Pope teams, but I really think this this is a special this is a special girls team. What's like one word to describe their offense right now? Uh, majestic. Congrats to the track and field star Hope Glenn. She won the coach's Invitational 100 in an amazing 11.68. Dominate. Good luck to the boys' golf team. They're competing in Riverwood tonight and at the Creekview Grizzly Classic on Saturday. This has been the PSPN boys with the sports. Back to you guys. Thank you, boys. Mike really knows how to get his point across. Support humanitarian clubs, box tops drives. All you have to do is cut out and save box tops when you see them on your food items and then bring them to Miss Stridham in room 205. All box tops will be donated to an elementary school in need at the end of the collection. Alright, so right now I'm uh, sitting right inside the cafe here, and the prices are clearly labeled on your left here when you come in. Coffee is a dollar, cappuccino is a dollar, hot chocolate is a dollar, and iced coffee is two dollars. Of course, it's better than driving down to your local Starbucks because that's going to cost you gas. Um, right here is your register, and right here is where you place your order. So you come in, you place your order, and then you come to the register and pay, and you get your stuff. 
It's a pretty simple layout and it looks very uh, legitimate. I'm excited to see how it turns out. Alright Ryan, so what's the uh, opening day for this? Um, the opening the opening day is Wednesday, March 22nd. And uh, what times will we be open? Uh, 7.50 to 8.20. And uh, what day? Uh, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Three weeks of coffee, iced coffee, whatever you want. Coffee, that's coffee, that's coffee. And everything you call it a daughter, you just have iced coffee. Hope is looking for next year's board members. If you are interested in leadership and helping out the Hispanic community, please see Ms. Tancredi in room 80 for information on the application process by this Friday the 24th. A letter of recommendation is needed, so stop by room 80 as soon as possible. Thank you for watching the Greyhound News Network. Have a great day.